Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Um, happy July to everyone. Uh, I did do the July 2024 monthly Love Tarot Energy update that got uploaded yesterday. So if you missed it, check it out. I take the month week by week for your person, for you, and for the connection. Very interesting energies come through. And I give you a little astrology for what you can expect for the month of July. I am pulling from um, Archangel Michael's Sword of Light Oracle to activate the reading. Let's get you a message from Michael. 20. No, it is not yet time. <laughs> <laughs> just what Aries wants to hear. This is not the divine right time to take action. Be, please be patient. The opportune moment is approaching. Actually, it's a pretty good message here um, because as we enter the month of July, planets are changing signs. Okay. So for example, for those of you who are the Aries, uh, Mars will move into Gemini on July 20th. Um, which means that right now Mars in Taurus is kind of stuck in the mud. It is not the best time for action taking. So think of this as sort of like, um, keep your powder dry, right? You're, you're, you're fast approaching in the next few weeks. Um, you will have the opportunity to take action. Mm -hmm. So let all those darn planets change signs. We've got Mercury and Leo as of yesterday. Venus will follow. She'll be there on the 11th. We have the new moon in Cancer on July 5th. Uh, so we got to get all the Cancerian energy out of the way before we take action. We're in the feels still. All right, guys, let me jump in. I'll pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Ooh, hello. Present energy, 10 of cups. Um, bliss, nirvana, completion on an emotional level where you go, oh, this feels so good. This is what I always wanted. What's the blocker challenge? Hmm. Um, well, you know, almost as if we're looking at a situation where the relationship may be feeling a bit one-sided. So there may be a challenge around, you know, reciprocity, the equal give and take of it all. Yes. In your unconscious awareness, possibly some fears, um, maybe some negative karma surrounding you or that you're sensing internally in the past queen of swords. Um, just sort of a, she's a truth seeker, truth teller. So feels to me like in your conscious awareness, it is about, um, a return of passion, excitement mm, in the near future, seven of swords. So I'm feeling like you may be afraid you're dealing with somebody who is either avoidant or maybe um, has ulterior motives. And that's why this energy of the Queen of Swords in the past feels a little more recent to me. Like, what am I really dealing with? Um, so, okay, uh, that's why you're being guided not to take any action just yet. You know, you wanna wait and see how things play out. This could be a faulty perception coming from egoic fear. So let's see what we're dealing with. 10 of Cups, six of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups, the Star. Well, I, I do feel on some level you're hopeful for a shift for the better. Um, you're hopeful, uh, at, least, at least in your unconscious awareness, but you're also a little stuck because something's growing a bit complacent. We're looking at a connection where you're sort of like everything on paper feels perfect, right? The energy between us is good. I feel like I found someone I could, you know, really get to know for the long haul. Um, very emotionally invested, that 10 of cups, but there's some kind of, I don't wanna say that it's totally one-sided, but maybe you're not feeling that this person is putting the, their full heart into it and you're sort of second guessing, wondering what's going on, feeling a little stuck around it, um, and maybe because you don't know what the cause is. So unfortunately, with the devil in your unconscious awareness, you may go to dark places about that. King of Pentacles, right. 
Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. So the devil is coming in as nothing more than egoic fear and resistance. You're sort of feeling like this person isn't showing up for you. You may not know why. Um, and so you may, uh, you, know, you know how when things feel like they should be going swimmingly, but they're not. And then we get, we have the little angel devil moment. That's what I'm seeing here. Right? Is this something we can work out and work through? I don't know. I, I'm feeling so shut out. And when left to my own devices, I go to dark places. And what I mean by that is just that, you know, we, we tend to either catastrophize or we t when we don't know what's going on, when everything seems like it should be going well and it's not, oh, there's a tendency as souls having a human experience, the human part of us responds to ego. Ego wants to keep us small, right? So we don't get hurt. And it feels like that's what I'm seeing in your unconscious awareness. In the past, Queen of Swords... emperor right there's the devil and the king of wands hmm i do think you question this person's intentions and on an internal level at least maybe not consciously on an internal level you're kind of seeing the worst um is something very negatively karmically charged. Am I, is this a twin flame? Is this a soulmate? Is this a karmic partner? I don't know. Queen of Swords wants to know. So it does feel to me, <laughs> I know, that's, that's amazing. Um, it does feel to me like you are questioning this person's intentions. So let's see uh, the Knight of Wands in your conscious awareness. And that doesn't mean that anything horrible has happened. It just means something is off. So this is where you're going internally. And again, right? well, there you are, Aries, with the Queen of Wands, landing on that knight, right? The Ace of Swords, there's some kind of... Um, you've, got, you've got something that you're seeing clearly, but you're not sure what to do about it. That is also why you are getting... Your uh, no, it's not yet time. This is not time to divine right time to take action. The opportune moment is approaching, right? This is about, I'm not seeing the wheel of fortune, but that's essentially what it's talking about. And with that two of swords, it's, a, it's again going within to sort of like figure out what am I really, what, what do I got to do here to, to shift this situation? Because you've been feeling a little stuck. Um, but you're seeing something very, you're beginning to see something clearly, whoops, um, and uh, possibly beginning to feel like you need to make a decision about how best to proceed. And that was another message in the July 2024 update, right? Decisions, decisions between week three to week four. So let's see the seven of swords in the near future. don't think that seven of swords turns out to be nefarious i almost feel like this person comes toward you um, there's some sort of sense of i sized it up wrong i didn't see it right um the five of cups is coming through is like uh well, that was a mistake because I don't think you're dealing with something truly nefarious. Despite the fact that we have the devil twice, it's a question. It's something that's not settling well in your bones. And so you're going to be guided to sort of press pause. Uh, how many times am I going to say Archangel Michael knows and sort of take the 30,000 foot view. Really look at the situation with this person that you feel so comfortable with. What is off? What is wrong? And right, are you really jumping to the right conclusion? Um, personally, I feel jumping to any conclusion is lower vibration, 
right? That's where we are coming from suspicion instead of intuition. And the hanged man is more intuitively gifted, waiting for that enlightenment. What is this about? Now, it could be um, that the fact that everything gets put on hold, things may grow stagnant. And you may feel that someone just pulled a fast one on you. So that is possible for some of you. It's a general reading, not a private reading. So it will be slightly different for everyone. Take that as it resonates. It's not the dominant message, but it's a possibility because where there lies uncertainty of someone's intentions, some of us are going to have a real clear intuitive hit on it. Almost like a, yep, I know. I just, I just know. So for some of you, that may be possible that, that you kind of feel a sense of um, loss, like something slipping through your fingers and growing stagnant. Um, and then your suspicion, which I'm going to cancel that word and say your intuition um, proves true. So again, different for everyone. I do want to take this to the extended. I'm going to give you the astrology here. The links to the extended are below. I have now numbered them one or two or three. So you can see there are three different options for extendeds. Two of them are memberships and one of them is just this one extended because there has been some confusion. So I'm doing everything I can to make it easy for you to click the link and read what it is you're purchasing. <clears throat> so I will go into the extended and I'm going to pull the two of you together more closely. Look at the strengths and challenges and how things might unfold going forward for the two of you. What is their message to you? What are they picking up um, from what are they picking up from you? And then we'll get some um, guidance from spirit, hidden energies and how things might unfold. So that's what we're going to do in the extended. I'm shifting it up a little bit. Um, please know that I do offer private readings and for this next for this whole month of july there is a special offer in the run-up to lion's gate which is 8 8 august 8th lion's gate very auspicious and energetic ascension portal especially for twin flames and soulmates so it's 88 dollars off of my regular rate for private readings if you've been wanting one and it's been a little out of reach this is your opportunity so for all of july Go in, grab that, and the readings will be delivered. Second half of July, first half of August is the plan. Okay, so here we go. We have the star, which is Aquarian energy. Devil comes out twice. That's Capricorn, King of Pentacles. Come say hello, Leo. Okay, you don't have to yell. King of Pentacles is Taurus. Queen of Swords, yep, say hello. Queen of Swords is Libra. Aries and the Emperor. King of Wands is Leo. You know, let me move that for you, honey, so you see where... Uh -uh. Yeah, I know. If Oh, he's so cute. Sagittarius in our um, Knight of Wands. Aries, like I said, in the Queen of Wands. Definitely an Aries reading. And Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. So that's what I have for you. I'm heading to the extended where I'm looking at your connection a little closer, a little deeper. For those of you who said, yeah, that feels right to me. Bye for now. Leo says bye too.